In this video, we will construct how we can transform a state space representation into transform function representation for a discrete time dynamical system. Okay, so a uh, discrete time dynamical system in state space form look like this. Okay, g of x of k plus okay h of u of k. That's great. And y of k is equal to c times x of k plus Okay, d times u of k. That's great. So we take the technical z transform of sides, and since it's a transform function, we assume that initial conditions are zero. Okay, so z times x of z is equal to g times x of c. Okay, plus h times u of c. Okay, so it is a little bit dirty. H times h times u of z, okay, and we know that y of z is simply is equal to c times x of z plus d times u of z. Okay, so uh, z times i minus g x of z, okay, is equal to h times u of z, that's great, and x of z is equal to z i minus g, no, zi minus g, that's great. Okay, so the, let's make it cleaner. Okay, so zi minus g inverse x of z, not x of z, okay, so let's change it again. Okay, h times u of z. Okay, so we now computed x of z, as a function of is a technically this is also a transfer function, transfer function from the input for all of the states of the system. But what we want is technically y of c, y of c is equal to c times z i minus g inverse times h, okay, u of c plus, okay, of course, d times u of c. So what is the transfer function? Transfer function is from the input to the output. So t of z is equal to c times z i minus g inverse plus h plus d. Okay, so this is the transfer function for a given state space representation. Okay, that's great. Okay, so let's solve some examples and try to uh, figure out what we can obtain or what we can interfere about the like different kind of systems with have uh, same uh, transfer functions and so on. Okay, so uh, we have an example. It's not an exact example, but it's more like an illustration. Okay, let P, okay, be a pole of T of C. Okay, so we have a state space presentation. We copied the T of C, and we know that P is a pole. Okay, so can we kind of, uh, is P is a part of G or state space representation? So it is the question. And actually, it is. Okay. So what is P? P is a pole, and it means that we can write T of Z such that it is equal to N of C and D of C. And since it's given the information, D of P is equal to zero. So we know that. Okay. So what is T of C? T of Z is equal to C Z I minus G inverse times H plus D, right? Okay. So uh, here we have c and h, they don't depend on z or anything else, but uh, z i minus g is technically depends on z and it has an inverse. So what we can do is, let's use the definition of inverse of matrix. Okay, so in that respect, we can write z i minus g inverse as this, a joint of z i minus g and divided by determinant of z i minus g. Okay, so if we plug it here, we obtain that c times adjoint z i minus g inverse times h. Okay, so uh, we have also d. Uh, do we have d? Okay, so let's put d here. It's not very critical for us. Okay, divided by determinant. Okay, z i minus g. Okay, that's great. So, so for a single input, single output system, this is a scalar, like it's a function of c, it's not scalar. So it's a 
polynomial of z and which technically together with d constructed numerator dynamics okay so even that p okay uh, where okay so uh, limit t of z limit where z is going to p is equal to technically infinity so it blows up and it's obvious that the uh, t of z uh, like transfer functions, uh, like we do in the state space formula, uh, can go to infinity only when determine z i minus g is equal to zero. Okay, so it means that determinant z i minus g, where z is equal to p, should be equal to zero. Okay, so if p is a pole of the transfer function, it should uh, technically equate this uh, equation to zero, where determinant of zi minus g is equal to zero. So what is determinant zi minus g? So it is the characteristic equation. Okay, so characteristic equation, let's say like c lambda is equal to zero for z lambda is equal to pi, which means that p is an eigenvalue of the uh, state evolution matrix. So what we found is if p is a pole of t of z, then p is an eigenvalue of g and it is the eigenvalue of any g matrix okay so it should be the case because this is true for all possible states representation that gives the same transfer function okay good so uh, and it's important feature that uh, when we have a pole we have an eigenvalue so reverse may not be true uh, why it may not be true so we can have an eigenvalue okay so let's talk about here okay so this eigenvalue can equate this part to zero okay so then you can assume that it's a pole of the system but this part together with the d can have the same uh, like quantity p which makes uh, the numerator equal to zero so if we have a positive cancellation okay then it may not be actual pole of the system okay so reverse of this is not true okay so this path is okay, but this path is not okay in general. It's always, almost always okay, it's true. But if you have a positive cancellation, then you cannot say that if I have an eigenvalue, it is the pole of the system. And, and it only happens when we drop the state space representation to a lesser uh, degree transfer function. And in that respect, we can also say that this state space representation is also, uh, also not minimal. Okay, good. Now, let's talk about invariance of transfer function under similar transformation, and let's try to prove that. Okay, very good. So we talk about transfer, similar transformation, and we stated that xk plus 1 is equal to g x of k plus h u of k, y of k is equal to c x of k plus d times u of k. Okay, so under the similar transformation, we can find a new stage space presentation. Okay, g hat of x of k plus h hat of u of k, and this is y of k, which is equal to c hat of x of k plus d of u of k, because we know that d doesn't change under similar transformation. Okay, so we are given that g hat is equal to p times g p inverse. Okay, that's great. H hat is equal to P times H. Okay, so C hat is equal to C times P inverse, and D is equal to D, of course. Okay, so, and let's try to find the transfer function of X hat, and let's figure out if it's same with the original state space representation. Okay, that's good. Okay, so what is T hat of C? T hat of C, if we follow the formula that we already derived, we can see that it is equal to C hat, okay, z i minus g hat inverse h hat plus d okay as you can see plus d is same it's not different so i can just ignore the plus d for now okay so we will add a plus d at the end okay and it is equal to so what is c okay that's great c is equal to c times p inverse okay and this is equal to z i minus p times g P inverse, inverse, okay, we have double inverse, P times H, okay, that's great, we ignore the D for now. Okay, so let's rearrange the inside, C times P inverse, okay, so P 
C I minus G P inverse. We did the same trick in the uh, in the previous video lecture, if you remember. Times P times H. That's great. Okay. So oh, that's good. So if you remember, if you have an inverse outside and you have two matrices, they are all invertible. We know that P is also invertible. What you do is you can flip everything and take the inverses. And in that respect, we can easily see that C times P inverse. So P inverse will be here. We take the inverse. So it will be equal to P. That's great. So it will be Z I minus G inverse times P will be there. P inverse times P times H. It's obviously equal to C times Z I minus G inverse times H. And now we can put T because we ignored it that. And as you can see, this is equal to D Z. So the take home message is, and it was obvious at the beginning, under similar transformations, you don't change the transfer function. Okay, uh, so similar transformation is technically finding a new state space representation with a new state definition for the same system. So transfer function is changing, so it means that stability, like uh, transient performance in which event under zero energy conditions, state state performance, everything same for the system. We are just changing the state definition. We may be doing this for computational purposes, for practical purposes, or just for like teaching purposes.